Hey Virtual Pilots, welcome back to the channel. Today we start looking at the front console where things will look a lot more interesting. So starting with this emergency jettison button, as you can see here, we learn by mistakes. So most buttons are round. This one is a very basic build. You just have a push button. However, if you have a button and even something here to hold it, the button, the cover on top will spin um, after I finish building this. So we need something squarish. Okay, so this is not workable so what we do is we have a square um, at the back at the bottom and then we pocket it then we need to get a, a square button okay and stick it in there so that the body will will not rotate now this one is optional you can create stripes and then uh, pad it up just like the text then you can you can print in black so you know the the stripes here will still be black at the surface you paint it yellow okay this is optional some people might find it too challenging or too tedious then you can always use um, tape okay cut strips of tape leave a gap and then paint so that is up to you so let's look at this one how we do it you have a circle and your pad and you have a square okay over here and your pocket Then you do the stripes and raise it up. You do the the text two rows. Okay. So the question is how do we do this stripe thing? That is the most challenging thing. So let's try this. If you to new body sketch and let's say we have diameter 30 we pad whatever that is on the actual one um, seven okay doesn't matter so what i want to show is how do we create the stripes so you do the circle again same diameter and then let's say we draw a rectangle whatever size you want preferably centered Okay, then we can start doing this. Okay, this is just estimation in terms of the width. You can eyeball it. Now, if you are anal and want to be very precise on the angle, you can even say this and this and a certain angle. Okay, so I'm just showing you the steps. So it's all about drawing and then trimming okay don't do everything and then trim and getting errors and whatever so do one pair at a time we trim okay and then here trim again 
All right, this one is easy. So if we cross this rectangle and now we trim okay get this out of the way now we want to trim the inside as well and not just these two sides over here as well all right then repeat until you get all of this then when you're done you raise it up you'll look like this all right so this is how you do the the uh, button cover for the square push button okay next we look at the panel with the text so you draw a shape like this with the given dimensions 31 inside and 35 outside so this shape here okay and you pad you get this then you add some text like this next you draw the circle over existing shape again and pad it up so what i mean by this okay bring it up so it's almost like a like a small tower then this it's hard to tell but you are drawing a base on the outside and fillet the corners so draw a base okay over here and then fillet the the top edge to make it look nice and the last part here is this thing that looks complicated is same thing you're just drawing around the top of the panel and having all these pairs of lines and trimming all right and then you will get this okay again if this is too difficult it's just tedious if it's too difficult for you um, you can just use tape uh, maybe the thin one paint it black try uh, tape it and then make paint everything yellow here or it's up to you whether you want to paint the yellow or the black all right this is the finished product then what you do is have the cover put over a squarish push button like this which only like a positive and a negative and then hot glue this one here so it's even without moving it's not going to spin but this might the cover might fall out so you want to hot glue it to the top so it just stays in place then the four corners here hot glue this like this so that if the the button doesn't turn and the cover stays on it so everything stays and nothing spins okay this is the finished product with the yellow it looks kind of nice what i do is before i paint it yellow i actually use the white uh, marker and paint it white first then when you put the um, yellow paint on it it looks brighter okay so everything looks like this and the buttons at the back all right so just one line of code one digital pin so the code is very simple 
and now we'll look at it in action. Okay, next we look at the arresting hook, knob, and then followed by the panel. So you just draw a shape like this, basically two circles, a big one, a small one. Join it with two lines and then trim away the other half. And you get this shape basically tapering towards the front and then pad it. And then at the bottom, draw a circle and a rectangle and pad it, and you will come up to this. Okay, so starting with this shape, you pad it, you get it like this, and now you get this shape like this. So now this one is optional. I've shown in several videos how to do datum plane. So you click and then click this thing here and rotate it 90 degrees, move it out, draw a shape and like this. Okay. Move it back to the center and park it symmetric to both sides and it will shave off and create the curve due to this thing here all right then you you will get this shape okay this is optional it just makes it look nicer and then the rest is just doing fillet on the sides okay more fillet in the front so all the edges becomes curved. Lastly, we look at the arresting hook panel. This one is very simple. Draw a shape like this. Have a hole to put the um, toggle. And draw some slanted rectangles. Basically, put lines and trim like at the beginning where we made the um, the stripes for the emergency jettison button. All right, so pat this. Create the stripes. And at the back, we want to do something. Index holes and the recess. Index holes. Recess. Okay, at the uh, all this text and pad it's a bit sl sluggish as you pad more and more it gets even slower so you get the idea. The end result is, okay, this one we spray paint it. You use a shorter toggle, slide it through here, and black PLA, yellow paint, white text, silver or metallic hook, and you get this.